right, so today we are going to grill northern. And I want, know what you're probably thinking. Who grills northern with the skin on? Well, here's what you've got to understand. The fish that are between 33 and 36 inches, a lot of people just want to kill those because they want them out of their lake. Uh, they don't know how to get the Y bone out. They don't know what to do. Well, we're going to show you a cool little recipe on how to grill this. And the whole key is you got to grill it frozen with the skin on. The only thing that you do when you clean this fish is you fillet it like you normally would. You take the rib bones out and you leave everything else on. And then when you grill it, you literally want to grill it frozen. You cannot do this if it's not frozen. I've tried it, trust me, the skin gets all nasty. It sticks to the grill, does not turn out. And you're gonna be like, ooh, that doesn't work. So you want it frozen. And the only thing I do ahead of time is I just put a little bit of Lowry's on it. Not much, because most of it's gonna come off. A little bit of lemon pepper. And then I just let the grill warm up. Once that gets on the grill, we're gonna melt some butter with some garlic, and we're just gonna spread it on. All right, back at the grill. Got this thing at about 425 to 450. I like to do just one little thing before I put that on there. I give it a pretty good little spray. I also spray this a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go meat side down for probably, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes. And I press it just a little bit. All right, so now we just, we melted about a quarter stick of butter. I'm gonna put in just a little bit of garlic. You don't wanna overkill it. You can use fresh garlic if you want. This is what I have, so this is what I use. So now we got a little garlic butter. Put just a little bit of lemon pepper in there. And we're just gonna glaze that on while it cooks. And it's gonna be yummy. All right, so it's been roughly, oh, I don't know, five minutes. And you don't want to cook it too long on this side, just long enough to give it some grill marks. If I can, I might flip it again just to crisp it up once I get the butter. But once you flip it over like this, it's the time you just start doing this every three, four minutes. I try to keep the temperature now about that 400 degrees if I can. All right, so it's been about three minutes. I'm gonna flip it once more because I'd like to get a little bit of those grill marks on there. This is where you do have to be pretty careful that you don't let it go too long on the meat side. Because you don't want to burn the meat side, you just want to get it a nice little charcoal. So I'm going to leave that on there for probably two minutes, then I'm going to flip it back over. All right, so it's been about two minutes, like I said, you don't want to over leave that on there. Oh yeah, I can feel already that she's... All right, we're just gonna cook this until it flakes. So we probably got another, oh, I don't know, three, four, five minutes. All right, so it's probably been about seven, eight minutes. Now what you wanna do is just wanna see if it flakes. Not quite ready there, but I'm gonna guess down here, it's getting close. So I'm gonna turn that side down a little bit. Let it go just a little bit longer. All right, now what you want to do is just want to kind of check it and see if it, oh, yep, see how that just kind of flaked right off there? So we are going to get her off. I would try to use two tongs on this. If you try to use one, it will break. All right, well, back inside after having it cooked, and now is really the true time. Um, everybody knows on a northern from about here down, there's no bones anyway. Pretty much around here, there's no bones. 
your Y bones are right there. So the best way to eat around the Y bones is just to flake it. And you can literally take the bones, just pull them, set them aside, try a bite. Mm -hmm. Now, what is my favorite with this? I like to have a small filet with it, a bush light, some sweet corn, and it just sets it off. That's, Try. that's food porn right there. Try it, bite. Comes right off that skin. You weren't kidding. No. That's, that's it, money. It, it is definitely money. Excuse me while I just keep digging in here. Yeah. And if you can see right there, that's where those Y bones are. Mm -hmm. And they literally, the meat just kind of comes right around it. You might waste a little bit of meat every now and then, but you can see how you can just pull it all the way away. And you have yourself a beautiful little piece of grilled northern. You can taste the garlic butter on there and it's good. I mean, he, he started off in a big way for the first video in this series. He's got three more treats coming for us. Three more recipes with fish. He set the bar pretty high. Thanks for checking this out, Boneheads. We'll see you on the next one. Man, that's good. Wow.